A week from Saturday, the Georgia Southern Eagles will take the field against NC State as a Division I football team. The level where the NCAA's elite do business. Now, can that be the same program that started on an empty field with a borrowed football 33 years ago? A lot has changed in this part of the world thanks to a cigar chomping Alabama boy by the name of Erskine Russell. Here's Dal Kennedy. At this stage, it's still a dream, but uh, things are beginning to shape up with every day. And uh, I can see this area out here filled with football players, or who knows. This could turn into something on down the road that uh, is really big. That's the way I see it. Saturdays were quiet. I mean, I, can, I have very vivid memories of raking the yard with my dad and listening to Georgia football. Dale Lick was working on three things, university status, a standalone doctorate, and football. Well, the first time I'd seen him was on TV at the Florida Georgia game, and I always saw the guy that was bleeding. It's a miracle. Anybody that said they thought it could happen had to be out of their mind. We've got to be out of our minds to be here. What did he have? What did he do? They say that Eric Russell was denied the head coaching job at the University of Georgia, and that set him to thinking about other opportunities. Dale called me over. He said, I'm going to say two names, Eric Russell. Now this is like in February of 81. He just won the national championship in the Sugar Bowl. The stars were aligning in Statesboro. College president Dale Lick had decided to restart a Georgia Southern football program from scratch that had been abandoned when the Japanese bombed Pearl Harbor. He was able to come in here with a very, with a totally clean slate and make it who he was. And I think that was the key to it. And they let him be exactly who he was. And he was able to run with that and create the football program that is beloved today with all of its story championships. And his approach to everything really was stunningly simple. Because he only had one simple rule. It was do right. And at first, I'm going, do right. Yeah, I'm going to get away with a lot of stuff. But do right, and he bring you in his office and go, what did you do? He goes, what's our rule? Do right. Is that right? Yeah, well, you knew it wasn't right. When you, if you got called in his office, you knew it wasn't right. All right, here we go, here we go. Simplicity became his hallmark. Here he describes the long, complicated climb to the top of the division. We won the game. We're the national champion. His description of a loss was equally concise. An overview of this game, uh, they beat the slop out of us. As was the mantra that made a dynasty thinkable. We gonna play one more time. Please call in the air. The formation that the Eagles played was the wishbone, named the ham bone for quarterback Tracy Ham. He just made you feel like you could go through a brick wall. And Tracy did go through a bunch of brick walls, so many that they retired his jersey. Why? You have gotten all the good out of it. And that scraggly, vacant lot he talked about has turned into this. When Coach Russell framed our house as the prettiest little stadium in America, everyone knew he didn't intend for it to stay little forever. Georgia Southern is a $750 million impact to Bullock County and the surrounding area. Anybody that has been successful in Statesboro, Georgia, can tell you they would not have experienced the depth of success financially had it not been for Georgia Southern University and its growth. Do what your mama tells you to do. Go to Sunday school and church. When you die, you go to Statesboro. Now let's put a bow on it. Irk was a football genius, a master motivator, and a salesman, a man who could translate very complicated things into very clear, achievable goals. But the thing that trumped everything else was an unwavering loyalty and devotion to the people and the community that became his home. But they wanted to win for him. People kept asking me about Coach Russell leaving. Coach Russell never leaves Statesboro. Coach Russell, Coach Russell, Coach Russell is Georgia Southern. This is where he was coming to make his name, to make his mark, and to stay. He didn't look at it as, you know, a notch on his belt, a place to land for two or three years. That's why everybody bought into it, because he bought into them. To look up there and see a full house most every Saturday, and especially to see those bumper stickers, 
that were in our parking lot that used to read Georgia and Georgia Tech and Auburn and, and Florida and all those things have been replaced with Georgia Southern. Hell, we're Georgia Southern. Our colors are blue and white, and we're proud of it. We are blessed to have that material on Earth because we were blessed to have Mitch Glicken here at WTOC back when Georgia Southern began its rise. Mitch idolized Irk as many did, and he left a legacy of videotape that allows us to see and hear an American original, Irk Russell. Bow in respect to you, to me, the Greek in our practice today. Namaste. The world record for stand-up paddleboard yoga set on Hilton Head Island ahead on WTOC Prime.